All right, so with the last LJLs, um, the box I had to ship it in would cost, uh, you know, $12, $12 usually to ship. And I wanted, um, wanted to use these flat rate boxes. This box, anywhere in the U.S., costs $5.85 to send. So what's in it, and it fits now, is the LJL SC, SC standing for single coil. What this is what it is, and it's taken me a while, of course, to figure this out. Um, it will work just fine with the single coil, but I'm also going to put in these ferrites, um, and I want to show you the big difference it makes. It's a it's a pretty big difference. So you can experiment. Um, the other thing is, I'm going to give a a, a fair you know length of oh it's almost 12 feet of extra wire, and you can put extra primary yourself around here and tune this coil to the bulbs you're going to use. So I've got six six bulbs here. They're each uh, six watt EcoSmart. And I just want to show you what this little unit will do. We're going to run it on 12, 12 volts. I'm going to run it first without the ferrites and then we're going to add them and I'll show you the difference. Turn it on All right, so all six running at about 0.6 amps. Now I'm going to take these ferrites and put them in. Of course, with the one-handed YouTube filming. All right. I don't know if you noticed the the lights got brighter and we're sitting at less than half an amp to light all six of these so that's about oh five watts to light these now um, I'm gonna I hope you can see this I'm gonna um, take half the ferrite out and watch the bulbs slightly dimmed we're back up to 0.6. So the ferrite is so simple to add. It doesn't need to squeal. So there's six bulbs. Now I want to show you the tuning that you can do with this um, this primary, which is a nice little feature. All right, I can't do this really with one hand, so I want to show you six bulbs. Starting at 0.43 amps. I'm going to um, pull that power up a little bit. Now, actually, you know what I'll do first is I'll drop that power. We're going to add a couple primary turns. All right, I had to remove the ferrite to get more turns on there. So our start point is 0.6, and I'm just going to um, wrap some more turns. Now we're down to under 0.6. I keep going. The bulbs are still quite bright. They're five and a half. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just tucking that wire in. This coil is uh, hot melt glued on. So the coil is going to stay in position. And we're down to about a half an amp. And this is just the old LJL without the ferrite. We're under half an amp. I'm doing this one-handed. It's working out pretty well. We are at smack dab 0.4 amps. Now I'm going to take and put the uh, ferrite on. There we go. All six bulbs. 0.2 amps. Let's, uh, we'll take a couple out. 0.189. There's 0.12. And we'll take one more out. Here we got one bulb at 82 milliamps. 
Now if I take that ferrite off, we're at a quarter of an amp. And again, you can just uh, you know turn these lamps off with a switch. Back on, it's quiet. So um, I think this this setup is fun. Um, it'll ship for less. It's easier for me to make. Um, you can experiment with the ferrite. You can tune the circuit. You can add you know more primary turns. You can take some off. Okay, so this little space here on this heat sink, there's room um, if you want. To fix a little switch, it's a center off toggle switch or a slide switch would work here. So I'll let you put that there if you want. Um, it's just more work, and you may or may not want that. So anyway, this kind of switch will go right there.